guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you are new here thanks for stopping in my name is misty i normally do beauty and some lifestyle stuff here on the channel do some vlogs it's a little bit of a little bit of everything that's why my channel name is all misty because it's everything I, instead of having separate channels i decided you know what let's just put it all onto one so there you go so today we are going to do some fun with my hair i picked up this color i have been picking this up in the store for quite some time and i put it back because i'm like uh you know corporate or not really corporate but you know professional job probably can't have fuchsia hair but hey we're in quarantine let's have some fun so i'll be working from home a little bit i'll also be working in the building we won't have students so i figure you know what perfect time look at that color even though i know that that's obviously not the color i'm gonna get this is the l'oreal paris feria feria for i don't really know it is in the color fuchsia cha like cha cha i guess so um this does say that it is for light to light brunettes clearly she's not a light brunette up top but i do still have the residual ombre so my ends are a little lighter so i already know that my ends are going to be probably brighter than what's up here which is fine um my hair you know i colored it when did i vlog that maybe it had to have been in vlogmas so probably sometime in december i went ahead and i colored it then i have had my hair really every color from bright red to dark red to multicolored like mermaid hair purple i've done pink and rose gold and silver and so i'm not really scared of hair color um my hair is actually i was i've been very blessed my hair is actually very healthy it is very thick and normally it takes color pretty well so these colors normally do tend to wash out easily in my hair so even though this is a semi-permanent color normally it definitely will wash out you know and in, in probably like two weeks or so like up at the top i might still have some but not so much at the bottom but nor it fades pretty easily in my hair so you know i'm lucky because i like to change my hair all the time and since we're all sitting kind of in quarantine here or on the stay home order Kind of fun right so this says that it is a multifaceted color with three times highlights for an ultra shimmering vibrant tropical look well come on spring and summer a power shimmer conditioner that seals and smooths i love this conditioner in these why don't they sell the conditioners from here in like normal bottles i don't know what they put in it but it's definitely it's different um, it does say that the color will be less vibrant if used on darker hair. Again, I know that. So I'm probably just really going to have a purpley tone and that's fine with me. So and I know that my hairstylist friends are like, dear God, do not put that in your hair. Then you may not want to watch the rest of the video because that's what we're doing. So. All right. So we are back from the shower. I did my 25 minute, let it set. I will say this took a good amount of time to rinse till the water was clear. So I don't know how well my hair actually took the color. So we will see. Um, I do know that if you're going to use this, make sure as, as if with any kind of reddish tone or berry that you use a towel that you don't mind that turns pink because that happened and it's not that big of a deal. You can get it out with a bleach or something like that. So I'm not too worried about it, but I can't, let's see. I can see that there's like a reddish tone to my hair. I'm just taking my wet brush and kind of combing through just gently, not, not terribly. And you know, I don't I have a feeling that this, oh, it got on my shirt. <sighs> rats i didn't even think about that yeah stand by i'll be right back okay we're back my bra shops might hang out but you know what can i do it's fine so i'm gonna brush through my hair real quick just to kind of get some of the light tangles out i did spray the normal leave-in conditioner that i use um 
before I wrapped my hair up in the towel just because it's just kind of what I do. Okay, so now that it's kind of dried, I can definitely see, um, it definitely has more of like a berry tone. Now just keeping in mind, I know that it's not gonna be as vibrant as what the picture showed. Well, at least I don't think it's going to be because it did say that this was specifically for the blonde and light brunettes and I'm definitely a darker brunette. I do have some lighter ends, so I'm gonna go ahead and dry my hair and let's see, let's see what we come up with. Okay, so this is my hair. It's finally nice and dry. I didn't straighten it. I did just try to do a blowout, but you can see I did get some really pretty color. I'm gonna zoom in just so you can get a little bit, a little bit of the closer. Like it's very shiny, which is always a really great thing when you first are dyeing your hair. So I, that's always one of my favorite parts of dyeing my hair is the shine that comes with any kind of fresh color. So I will say, um, you know, it is actually a lot more pigmented than I thought it was going to be on darker hair. I did concentrate the majority of the dye on my ends because I knew that it would take there. I did put some up here just so it would blend. I didn't want it, you know, to be blocky, but you know, I do have some really pretty dimension, I think. Um, you know, looking at the side, I only used one box. I think that if I would have used two, I definitely, I probably would have had a lot more of that vibrant color. Um, but I kind of like that it looks, I don't wanna say highlighted, that's not the right color. Or, or not the right color. I don't wanna say highlighted, that's not the right term but I feel like it's a little more blended. It definitely still kind of has the ombre to it. So it is darker up towards the top and it kind of fades into, it's almost like, almost like a mulberry color. Um, there are some parts that it's where my hair is lighter. So you can see more of the fuchsia, but I don't think that this is fuchsia. I actually um, could get away with wearing this, you know, I would say, well, this for me is normal. <laughs> this is a normal color. Um, it's it's loud, but it's it's subtle but loud. Like it's noticeable. That's the word I'm looking. It's noticeable. And I did use the and I use this anytime that I blow dry my hair. This is the Garnier. This is the glossing spray. It's just for a shine. Um, and I actually use that a lot up here as well for flyaways because I have a lot of baby little baby flyaways from my bleach days. So I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I'm excited to kind of do some touch-ups as, you know, some time passes, but I did get really good coverage. Um, there's only like one little strand back here. You know, there's always one that I kind of miss. So it's more of kind of like a rosy pink color. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find it. But the coverage is actually pretty good. I am not a professional hairstylist. I have never been to cosmetology school. So this is just my experience with the product. If you are a dark headed beauty like I am and you were thinking about this color, this is what my color turnout is. Granted, my ends were a little lighter. Your results are going to vary as far as, as far as our box match, I would say that this bottom color is pretty true to what I got. I did not get this top vibrant because again, that's over blonde hair, but the brown, I would say that's like an exact match. So I am happy with this product. I'm excited to see how it wears. Maybe I'll do a check-in um, or at least through some other videos, I might just throw in a, a brief check-in. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful if you are, 
you know, interested in picking up this hair dye. I do like it so far. I'm very interested to see how long it wears though. So stay tuned in my future videos. I will make sure to update you. So thank you so much for watching. Um, at this time, if you have not subscribed, I'd love to have you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, thank you so much. Make sure you leave me some love down in the comments and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.